In this demonstration, we will be germinating carrot seeds in sterile medium using aseptic techniques. The germination medium was prepared using a similar technique to the one used in a previous video and is suitable for germinating a variety of seeds. For this exercise, we will need the carrot seeds, forceps, alcohol for sterilizing hands and tools, including an alcohol burner, bleach for surface sterilizing seeds along with a drop of detergent and the detergent we use is Triton X and it lowers the surface tension allowing the bleach to clean micropores on the seed surface various sized beakers for washing and rinsing a stirring plate and stirring bar and though it's not pictured we will also need about 500 milliliters of sterile distilled water The first step is to surface sterilize the seeds using a 10% solution of bleach and a drop of detergent. Begin by washing your hands and spraying them with a 70% solution of ethanol. Add about 200 milliliters of the bleach solution to a beaker along with a drop of detergent and the stirring bar. After the seeds have been stirred, pour off the bleach solution, being careful not to pour the seeds into the waste beaker. Remove the stirring bar from the beaker and rinse the seeds with about 150 or 200 milliliters of sterile distilled water. Hand stirring the seeds will work just fine for this particular application. Pour off the distilled water ag again, being careful not to pour the seeds into the waste beaker, and repeat this procedure three or four more times to make sure the bleach is washed completely off of the seeds. You now have several seeds that have been surface sterilized and are ready to be placed on the germination medium. Begin by lighting the alcohol burner. The flame on the burner burns a cool blue that is almost colorless. Remove the forceps from the alcohol and pass them through the flame to sterilize, allowing the alcohol to burn off of the forceps and cool for a few seconds. Pick a seed from the beaker. This is sometimes tricky since the seeds are so small. So rather than squeezing the forceps to pick up a seed, it is usually better to allow the surface tension of the water on the seed to just stick to the tip of one side of the forceps. In this case, the lower side, though you can barely see the seed. Take a culture tube from the rack and remove the lid, holding it between your pinky finger and palm rather than placing it on the surface of the hood. Gently wipe the surface of the auger with the forceps to lay the seed on top of the medium and press the seed gently to make sure it is in good contact with the auger. It does not need to be submerged beneath the surface of the medium to germinate. Replace the cap, flame the forceps once again and place the culture tube back in the rack. Observe the procedure again and repeat for as many seeds as need to be germinated.
Maintaining a sterile aseptic work surface and work area is critical to preventing microorganisms from contaminating the culture tubes. When you are finished, place the lid on the alcohol burner to put out the flame. Next, the culture tubes can be placed in the incubation chambers for germinating the seeds. For this exercise, we are also running a mini-experiment to determine the effect of temperature on seed germination. So, one set of 16 culture tubes was placed in a 25 degree Celsius chamber and another set of 16 was placed in a 15 degree Celsius chamber. Seeds were checked each day for germination and data was collected for 10 days. The Excel spreadsheet contains the data and the next video will illustrate how to use Excel to conduct a one-way ANOVA.